After unboxing the Rover C4, the treasure detector is almost ready to use. With just a few simple steps it is prepared for your first scan. Choose the desired probe and connect it to the sensor socket at the lower end of the control unit. Push the plug into the sensor socket until the notch snaps in. To change the probe, just release the notch and pull out the probe. Both the standard probe and the super sensor have an LED orbit that provides immediate visual feedback. The standard probe can be used for the operating mode's 3D ground scan and magnetometer. It is attached directly to the unit and thus very easy to carry. The super sensor is used for all operating modes including mineral scan and pinpointer. Moreover, it provides 3D ground scan images in higher resolution. Use the operating mode magnetometer to clear the scan field of small metal items like nails, cans, screws and wires near the surface. Magnetometer is primarily an acoustic mode. However, the feedback is also visualized on the display to determine the highs and lows. Use the standard probe or the super sensor for this operating mode. By using the high resolution super sensor you can achieve a much better depth performance. Select magnetometer from the main menu. Start the scan by pushing the start button. Move slowly forwards, backwards, to the left and to the right, but avoid turning the probe. The probe should always point vertical to the ground. Do not pivot, swing or turn it around its own axis. Switch on the LED orbit to get direct visual feedback. Ferromagnetic objects are indicated in blue and red colors corresponding to their negative and positive magnetic pole. The 3D ground scan provides a graphical measurement of any area for detailed analysis in Visualizer 3D Studio. The operating mode can be performed with the easy-to-use standard probe or the high-resolution super sensor. Select 3D ground scan and adjust the initial parameters, impulses, impulse mode, scan mode and transfer mode. Set the number of impulses. These are the scan values that will be recorded line by line. We recommend to select auto. In this mode, the number of impulses of one scan line will be defined in the first scan line. The impulse mode defines how the single impulses are released by the metal detector. Here, we have used automatic. Each measure value is recorded automatically and continuously without any breaks. The scan mode defines the direction on the scan field. We recommend the easier mode parallel. This mode is used to scan all scan lines into the same direction. Finally, define the type of data transfer. Choose memory and select a slot to store the measured data in the internal memory of the Rover C4. After selecting the four parameters, go to the starting point of your first scan line and press start as soon as you start walking. Press the start stop button as soon as you reach its end. Return to the starting point without further scanning. Take one step to the left and scan the next line. This time don't press stop. You've already defined the number of impulses and field length with the first scan line. Return to the second starting point. Take a step to the left and scan the next line. Repeat this until you completed your scan field.
transfer your scan files to the notebook for further analysis in Visualizer 3D Studio. 3D ground scan can be performed in parallel or zigzag scan mode. Experienced users who want to scan even faster may use the zigzag mode. Select 3D ground scan and adjust the parameters. Impulses, impulse mode, scan mode and transfer mode. First, set the number of impulses. We recommend auto. Select the impulse mode automatic. Each measure value is recorded continuously without any breaks. The scan mode defines the direction on the scan field. For faster scans, choose zigzag. Finally, define the type of data transfer. Choose memory and select a slot to store the measured data in the internal memory of the rover C4. After selecting the four parameters, go to the starting point of your first scan line and press start as soon as you start walking. Scan the first line to its end and press the start stop button to set the field length and number of impulses. Remain at the end of the line and turn 180 degrees around your own axis. Rotate the probe so that the arrow is pointing in the same direction as in the first line. Take one step to the right and start the next line. Press start as soon as you start walking and scan the complete line. This time don't press stop. Now, turn around and rotate the detector. Take a step to the left and scan the next line. Make sure. The arrow on the probe is always pointing in the same direction as in your first line. Repeat this until you completed your scan field. Alternatively, you can walk forwards and backwards without rotating around your own axis. In this case, you don't need to rotate the probe. But keep in mind that walking backwards might affect the measurement results. It is more difficult to keep straight lines and the walking speed may be slower than when walking forwards. If you are undecided, we recommend you to use the scan mode parallel. In rough terrain, it may be useful to choose the impulse mode, manual. Select 3D ground scan and adjust the parameters. Impulses, impulse mode, scan mode and transfer mode. First, set the number of impulses. We recommend auto. In manual mode each measure value will be recorded manually by pressing the start stop button. The scan mode defines the direction on the scan field. Finally, define the type of data transfer. Choose memory and select a slot to store the measured data in the internal memory of the rover C4. Go to the starting point of your first scan line and press the start button to record an impulse. Press the button after each step, if possible at equal intervals. Press OK as soon as you reach the end of the first scan line to define the field length. Return to the starting point without further scanning. Take one step to the left and scan the next line, step by step. In this way, you can walk on different surfaces and step over obstacles at your own pace. For best scan results, hold the probe 10 cm above the ground and keep the same distance to the surface. You can check the distance by placing the probe on your shoe. To continue your scan, move the probe back to your side, do not measure above your shoe. Transfer your scan files to the notebook for further analysis in Visualizer 3D Studio. Pinpointer allows you to locate potential targets more precisely and to distinguish between ferromagnetic, non-ferromagnetic and non-metallic target objects.
Connect the super sensor. Power on the Rover C4 and select the operating mode pinpointer. The Rover C4 is now waiting until the Bluetooth connection is established. Start the Visualizer 3D Studio software. Click on Import and select your detector. Select the interface in the operating mode pinpointer. Move the probe back and forth, to the left and to the right. Keep the probe straight and always pointing in the same direction. Do not swing or rotate it. The Rover C4 display shows the active pinpointer screen with basic signatures. In fact, the detection software on the notebook provides much more detailed signatures. It helps you to distinguish between non-metallic targets, as well as ferromagnetic objects and non-ferromagnetic objects. You can enable the LED orbit to get additional immediate visual feedback. Mineral scan helps gold prospectors to locate mineral deposits and naturally occurring minerals. Potential target signatures for mineral gold occurrences are based on results from various known gold fields and mines. Connect the super sensor and select mineral scan. Select a free memory slot. If there are no empty slots, you may override a previous scan. Go to the starting point, start the scan and walk to the end of your scan line. The scan values will be recorded continuously for later analysis. Make sure that your scan line has a minimum length of 20 meters to collect enough values. After finishing your measurement, import the scan file into Visualizer 3D Studio. Switch to side view and scale the scan image to identify potential mineral occurrences. Look for a signature that is commonly referred to as, hit within a hit. This is a small value that is attached to a larger one. Before transferring scan data to the Visualizer 3D Studio software, your computer must be paired with your Rover C4 via Bluetooth. Click on the Windows icon and select Settings. Select Devices and add Bluetooth or other device. Choose Bluetooth and make sure your device is turned on and discoverable. Click on OKM OK Rover C4 and confirm. Select Memory to PC on your Rover C4 and choose the file you would like to transfer. You can only transfer 3D ground scan and mineral scan files to Visualizer 3D Studio. If the scan file has a green checkmark, it has already been transferred. Open Visualizer 3D Studio and select File and Import from the menu or click the icon. Select Rover C4 version 3.4 or higher. Wait a moment until your device interface is listed. Now select the entry and proceed. Select the desired operating mode. Remember, pinpointer scan results are displayed in real-time in the software. Choose the correct number of impulses for your 3D ground scan. Add further scan parameters and finish the scan transfer by clicking OK. Now you can analyze your 3D ground scans and mineral scans in detail. 